Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. I'm back here at Reeves Volkswagen in Tampa, Florida, because guess what? It's actually a sad moment. It is the official end. 2019 is the end of the Volkswagen Beetle as we currently know it. So what we have to kind of honor that, celebrate all of the success of the Beetle, and also get the tissues out because it's a sad occasion. This is that 2019 Volkswagen Beetle. This is the final edition. Special trim just for the 2019 model year. So let's talk a little bit about Volkswagen Beetle history. Believe it or not, the Beetle first hit the streets in Germany right after World War II was over, 1945. And what's fascinating is from 1945 all the way to 1954, in just nine years, they made a million Beetles. Now, Beetles eventually made their way to the United States. The last year of that air-cooled Beetle was 1979. It did go on in other countries, but 1979 in 1998 is when they brought back the all-new Beetle, which this one is based off of. That one went from 98 to 2010. And then in 2012, after a two-year no-show, this current Beetle is what we have. So let's go ahead, dive into this 2019 final edition. Right off the bat, what I love about the Beetles is that it looks like a Beetle. It doesn't matter if you're a million miles away, if you're squinting your eyes, you know it's a Beetle. So you have that wonderful headlight style. I like what they did with the projector beam headlight design in there. You got your daytime running lamps, a little bit of chrome trim as we drop down, fog lamps, your turn signals. And what's nice is, is that they, keep, they kept the fake vents to a minimal. As we come across the front, there's that iconic Volkswagen logo with that familiar turn down of the hood. Remember, underneath the hood is the engine. It's not a frunk like on the original Beetles, but very clean design and I love this color. Now, as we pop up onto the hood, very, very nice curve. I love the shape and I love the distinctive body lines that they have on this car because it's such an iconic car and yes, at the end of the day, does this car have 800 horsepower? Does it have all-wheel drive and twin turbos? No, but it's a Beetle. It's like if you're a car enthusiast, you can at least appreciate what this car has done for not only car culture, but also just culture overall with people. And that's the wonderful thing, is that when you see these, it just brings a smile to your face. Now, as we come around the Fender, I love that, that design, how they kept it. These wheels are final edition specific. So you have the chrome center, your Volkswagen logo, and then the white outer trim really sets it off perfect with what this car is trying to accomplish. Now, if you're wondering, well, what is this wheel size? It's an 18 inch wheel. And I just, the, the, how clean it looks on the car is perfect. Now, as we go down that flared out fun fender, this being a convertible, we put the top down. That's really what that Beetle is all about, that top down fun. You can see all the nice trim. You got some nice silver brushed aluminum. I like the way they brought the color onto the mirrors, your turn signals. And then also I think this sill extension really gives the car a lot of character. And that's really what the Beetle is all about. It's full of character. We'll get to the inside in a second. I promise you that. Normally I would zonk that there's no tonneau cover or anything, but if you know anything about your convertible Beetles, this is the look, this is the style that people want. And I'm so happy that Volkswagen was able to figure out a way to keep all those original elements and bring it into the design, especially because it is a front engine car. As we come to the rear, this is that trunk area. Very nice and clean. You got the Beetle logo, the Volkswagen logo, which is really great. I love the way that Volkswagen engineers their actual uh, release for the trunk into the actual emblem. You got your beautiful uh, tail lights here that really fit the flow of the car. And then down low, functional exhaust. So you got twin exhaust outlets on one side, a little bit of chrome trim, very tasteful, wonderful way to celebrate the final edition of the Beetle. Let's go ahead, pop the hood and see what we're working with. All right, guys, we got the hood popped on the Beetle. What's interesting is that one of the very few Volkswagens that we've opened up the hood here at Rees Volkswagen to, and it still has the prop rod. So I am gonna zonk that, but it does tie in, I guess, the old Beetle with the newer Beetle. Now, what you're looking at underneath the hood, that is a two liter inline four turbocharged engine. You're looking at 174 horsepower, 184 pound-feet of torque. It's made it to a six-speed automatic transmission. It really bums me out that I have to zonk it 
that it doesn't have a manual. The car weighs in convertible form, which remember, you can get your final edition in coupe or convertible, whatever floats your boat. 26 MPGs in the city, 33 on the highway, zero to 60. You're not gonna win any drag races with this unless you're drag racing somebody on a bicycle, but zero to 60, 7.2 seconds, quarter mile, 15.5, and a top speed of 120 miles an hour. What can I say? I think it's just a nice balance of performance. It, there are a lot slower cars out there. We know that. Front wheel drive got, has the great look. Let's see what this sounds like. The last time we're starting up a Beetle on Radies Rise. Let's go ahead and fire it up. All right, guys, we got the top down. I'm inside the final edition. It's, it's a little bit of mixed emotions because I don't know if you're aware of this, uh, VW does have a special part in my life. Uh, the first race cars that I raced professionally after college um, were Volkswagen powered. They were air-cooled Formula Vs and uh, just has a lot, of, a lot of connection there. If you're wondering, well, Joe, I kind of want to maybe take advantage of this final edition Final year that the Volkswagen Beetle is being produced. How much is it? This one, SEL trim, convertible, the way you see it, has an MSRP around $31,000. Let's see what you get to the door panels. Now, the door panels are very simplistic, but it's okay. I like the, uh, the gloss black that's going on. I know that's going to cause a lot of anger with you because of fingerprints and whatnot, but it does look really really nice especially when the door is closed the armrest is on the harder side so i am going to zonk that but i do like the silver trim on the actual pull handle for the door and also the round speaker cover down there very very nice touch it really does help connect there's that connection when you go to the dash harder plastic up front but i love that old style you know my mom had a 1974 volkswagen beetle and it was actually beige and the interior was beige as well, and this reminds me of that. I mean, the way that the glove compartment opens, just like the old ones, and they didn't even have to put this here, because look, you have a traditional glove box, but you also have the glove compartment up here as well. Very, very nice touch. The SEL trim has a 6.3 inch infotainment system with navigation. It's on the smaller side, I'll be honest. I wish it was a little bit larger, but there's not a lot of real estate that we're working with here. Um, does have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and I like the swiping feature. You also have a nice little cubby here that you could put uh, some snacks for your nice road trip as you're going down uh, you know, the boulevard. We drop down more gloss black, dual climate, which is a nice touch, very large cubby, and it also has a USB and an aux jack in there. Here's your 12 volt, it's one of those little plugs. You know how I feel about these. I'm gonna zonk the plug. I wish there was just a, a cover. Push button start. This is gonna be controlling that seven speed automatic transmission. I like the brushed aluminum here. I like the brushed aluminum around the cup holders. Here's your key fob. I wish that it said something on here. So it's a lot of wishing. I guess I need to get a, a genie and a, and a lamp or something or a bottle because, uh, well, that's Christina Aguilera. But anyways, um, here's your key fob. I just, I wish that it had final edition or there's no final edition name in here. I mean, this is it. I like the leather on the e-brake, the brushed aluminum button. You do have this armrest, which you open up and you could fit two Twinkies side by side. A lot of you like the way I'm measuring glove, uh, the glove boxes in the center uh, compartments here. Two Twinkies side by side. You can flip it up totally out of the way. So that's a nice touch as well. Seating position, I feel great. You do have all manual control. So it's manual for passenger and driver, but I do like the design here. You got this pleated stitching going on. I like the tan with the, with the darker leather. It really gives it a classy look in here and it blends in perfect with what's going on with the dash. But why don't you come on over to the business end and I'll show you behind the wheel of this Beetle. All right guys, business time behind the wheel of this final edition Beetle. I do like the additional touches here with the brushed aluminum. Here's another missed opportunity. I wish it said final edition here on the door sill. You do have brushed aluminum pedals, which is a nice touch, all manual controls steering wheel. I like it. I wish it was a little bit thicker, but I do like the style of pretty much almost every Volkswagen wheel. Flat bottom. See how they put the Beetle logo here? They could have kept that just blank. I'm glad that they did that. I like the flat black buttons. They're easy to operate. And then the dash makes sense. Speedometer in the center, nice and large. 
analog tack, analog fuel gauge, and then I do have to zonk that digital display. It is very, very dated. It looks like it's from 2012. So that is somewhere where they didn't do much updating. Let's go ahead and see how hard it is to put the top up. So I'm gonna close the door. You have your switch right here. You pull it down and guess what? The top's gonna go up. Not too bad for speed. And the nice thing is you don't have to worry about latching anything in place, which is really wonderful. You get a little bit of a chime. It's a good amount of opening, which is nice. And then once I put the top back up, the AC came back on, which is really nice. Let's see though. I know a lot of you always request. I'm answering your request. We're gonna check out the back seat. Let's go check it out. All right guys, back seat time, real easy. You're just gonna pull up the seats, seat slides forward and then you're gonna climb on in. Actually, not too bad. I mean, you're sitting very upright, but for a shorter drive down to the beach or going for a little cruise, I think this would be real simple. You do have a 12 volt and a single cup holder. So if you have another passenger back here, you're gonna have to thumb wrestle on who gets to use the cup holder. Even some of you ask, can you pull the seat back? Yes. Very, very tight with the seat up. Obviously, I would like this driver to move the seat up more, but the great thing is, is that they have a little bit of an indentation on the back of the seat, which is full leather, to give you a little bit more leg room. But really, the Beetle is not about leg room. The Beetle is about having fun. But before we get to have some fun, let's go ahead and check out what kind of junk we could put in the trunk. All right, guys, time to open up the trunk. One thing I like about the back trunk area that I forgot to point out earlier is I like the kick-up spoiler that they put in. And I think it's so smart to just put a little bit of gloss black to help it pop. But all you're gonna do is you're just gonna lift. You gotta use your good old muscles up she goes now you do have a, a a boot cover so you could put this over the actual convertible top and it snaps into place i would leave it at home and just have the trunk space but let me go ahead and pull this out you can see the amount of room that you have is actually with the top down quite substantial those rear seats can fold down which is another nice touch so for a smaller car you do actually have quite a bit of room. Now the only problem is, is the openings on the smaller side, but you know what? I think for this car, I was quite surprised and I know a lot of you are, but let's go ahead. Let's finally get to that best part. Let's take this Beetle for a spin. All right guys, we're in the 2019 final edition Beetle. We're leaving Reeves Volkswagen. We have typical Floridians doing weird things behind the wheel of their cars, but that's how it is on Rady's Rides. It's never a dull moment. Being in this Beetle is just, it's a classic feel to it. And even though my mom's original Beetle is nothing like this one, it still has that familiar inside to it, especially the dash being tan. I really think, or beige, I should say, um, it really makes it extra special because my mom's Beetle was beige. But uh, pulling on the highway, getting on throttle, You know, zero to 67.1 seconds isn't a rocket by any means, but it's not a slouch either. It would be nice, I think it would have been really nice for the final edition if they would have dropped the GTI motor in here, 228 horsepower in a Beetle. Uh, that sounds fun to me, but um, I like the seating position. Looking out over the hood, it just curves down out of view. Even out the back window with the top up, we do have the top up obviously because for sound and whatnot, so you can hear me very clear. Um, even the back window, and a lot of times on convertibles, the back window is like looking out of a porthole on a submarine. It actually has got great visibility out the back. Side mirrors are wonderful, and just overall, it's it's Beetle. It's, it's fun, and driving on this highway, it's smooth and comfortable. So I really think that, uh, you know, Volkswagen got it right for sure, and it's just a shame that, that it's going away. Now, what I would have liked to have seen are maybe some high-performance versions I think that would have brought in some new customers and really uh, you know, gave the car an even more aggressive look to like the fender flare and whatnot. Because remember, in the American Rallycross series, there is a Volkswagen team that runs uh, Beetle R's and they really cleaned house for many years, especially when Scott Speed was driving uh, for the Michael Andretti Autosport team. But uh, this Beetle still has plenty of character and plenty of fun for sure. All right guys, the six-speed automatic, even though it's not the eight-speed auto that you find in a lot of other Volkswagens, still very, very uh, good working transmission. 
very smooth and and it's quiet overall you do get a nice little sound from uh, that's being piped into the interior but I think it just has enough personality to really round off the whole experience the dash I wish that LED display or that digital display was more LED TFT set up to make it more clear but uh, overall visibility of the gauges is, is a piece of cake driving around it just it's fun now you gotta remember because this is a convertible there is a little bit more body flex and I'm noticing some creaks and rattles but like I said it's a convertible those things usually tend to happen um, when you have a, a convertible especially a smaller one like this Beetle is but I think if you were looking at this in a Mini, if you wanted something with personality, this has even more personality than a Mini Cooper. Uh, but the nice thing about a Mini Cooper is that you can get the S version, which gives you the extra power. Brakes feel great. And the steering wheel is nice and tight. It's got a good weight to it. Gives great feedback. Rolling away here on throttle, drops down. Now, if you want to shift manually, you have to do it using the actual shifter. You just put it into manual shift mode and it allows you to uh, shift manually. There are no paddles behind the wheel. But very smooth, AC's working great. Would be nice to have ventilated seats, I think also in the final edition uh, and a larger infotainment system. But really this car is just about having fun and I could easily see somebody going down to the beach, top down and having a blast with their friends. Even over rough payment, ride's good. All right, guys, as we drive down this uh, little road back here, hopefully this gave you a nice overall feel of what the Beetle is like, especially in that final edition trim. It's going to be interesting to see if Volkswagen brings it back. I know they're saying that if they do, it's going to be full electric. So if you want a Beetle that's internal combustion engine, this is your last chance. So get down to Reese Volkswagen and check this out because it might put a big smile on your face it is a car enthusiast style car for sure but we're gonna go ahead i'll see you back at reese volkswagen in a second all right guys been another wonderful day here at reese volkswagen in tampa definitely gotta thank zadie steven and everybody else here at the dealership so accommodating what should you do should you get down and get yourself a final edition should volkswagen be really killing off the beetle some say it's going to come back as a full electric vehicle I guess only time will tell. But if these are the types of things that you like to see on Ready's Rise, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Ready's Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description. It takes you right to Spreadshirt. Get yourself some Ready's Rise merch. Got to give it up to Big Guns McGee, Tom Moshner. Check him out on Instagram, at Mosh Photos. You just never know what he's taking a picture of. So definitely check that out. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.